Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54 Chief of Engineers, and today we're coming to you from Chinku, Romania. We're on the road again. We're down with a bunch of great soldiers from the total force, active duty, guard, reserve, and our friends from the Romanian Engineer Force and even the UK Engineer Force. And with me is Colonel Sam Vulcan. Sam is actually the USER engineer. We're part of a much, much bigger exercise, which is Sabre Guardian, and this part is uh, Resolute Castle. Sam, explain to the, the engineer family what's Sabre Guardian all about? What are we trying to do here? What are some of those big objectives? And what are we really doing in Resolute Castle? So, so Sabre Guardian is a massing event as we deter Russia here with U.S. Army Europe. We build interoperability with our uh, partners and allies, and we also build the total force using our regional aligned forces along with our reserve components and our active components as we deter Russia here in Chinku, Romania. Resolute Castle is the largest engineer exercise and support Sabre Guardian in that massing event. So this is like 12 projects, it's in so, Poland, Romania, you got a lot of things going on in Sam. So we got over 2,000 engineers from four different nations, from total uh, component, working on 12 projects in two different countries. So a, a great example, we're right here in the middle of like six or seven different types of projects. With me is Lieutenant Colonel John Haas, he's the commander of the 391st Engineer Battalion. This is part of the 926 Engineer Brigade. John. What's it like to be a battalion commander here with your troops working in Romania? And just give me kind of, what are some of the big takeaways? Well, first is dream come true. I, I can't imagine a better force. I get to put together the Romanian engineers, the Royal Engineers, CBs, combine the South Carolina National Guard and the Army Reserves into one cohesive task force. And here we're able to achieve and build 12 different buildings on one massive site, building a tank range so that we can support Sabre Guardian providing them the training facility they need to attack the enemy and destroy them on target. So what about the training parts? You know, you got soldiers out here. What's it like for them to be able to work with members from another nation and understand maybe what can we do better, what can we learn from them? The cross-learning from both uh, the CBs and the Romanians has been outstanding. We're learning different techniques to how to place concrete. It's as simple as things as how to dig a hole. We all do it slightly different. We get to use each other's equipment, learn, and work on interoperability. Well, and if General Hodges was the uh, USER commander was here, he'd tell you interoperability is probably the most important thing we're trying to take away with this. So, Captain Hawk, you're a company commander here. We're standing on one of your projects. You got a bunch of other ones here. Without going into detail, just sum up quickly what are some of the things you built in this particular area, and maybe you can give us an example of one. Yes, sir. So, we built many multifunctional buildings across this battlefield, including a light demo range. Right here, we're standing on a tank ammo loading dock. Uh, this will provide uh, the capability for tanks on the live fire range to load, reload, move ammo across the battlefield in an expedited manner. Um, but this is, this is a great opportunity. I mean, the soldiers want to deploy. And every unit back home, every company commander should jump on board for this kind of opportunity. So up here to the behind you, you got some concrete pads. Looks like they're prefab. You brought them in. And then down here, it looks like you've assembled those pads. So you're really given the ability, I know we're going to go see a tank range in a minute, but the ability for maneuver to be able to train in this country, but also engineers to build and to learn as well. How'd this project go here? Right. It went well, sir. It, it takes a long time, but it works really well. And it allows tanks to move across the battlefield. It, it, it saves the terrain and, and it's enduring. So it's going to last a long time. Um, and, and the engineers did a great job laying it out. It took, like I said, it takes a long time, but they got it done. So the bottom line, the engineer regiment, the engineer family, the bottom line is this is not just about the United States, this is about several countries all coming together, and as the colonel said, there should be a show of force here in uh, Central Europe, but also to be able to train, learn how to be interoperable, and to learn from each other. We're partners, we're a coalition, we've got to be able to take out of this not just concrete, not just steel, but to be able to be a stronger force working side by side. So, John, thanks for a great tour down here. Your battalion's doing a phenomenal job. And Sam, the USER team really has stepped up to design a phenomenal exercise. I'm so proud to be able to see the engineers really perform here in the battlefield. So, from all of us here in Romania, back to you, just know there's a lot of great training going on, and we're glad to see everything you're doing. Congratulations.